हसतो मद्गमय तमसो मोतिर्गमय हाय फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू अवर क्लास लास्ट क्लास वी हैव लर्न अबाउट सिंपल प्रेजेंट टेंस इन दिस क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट प्रेजेंट कंटिन्यूअस टेंस व्हिच इज द सेकंड सब डिविजन ऑफ प्रेजेंट टेंस प्रेजेंट कंटिन्यूअस टेंस व्हिच इज द फर्स्ट वन सिंपल प्रेजेंट टेंस what is simple present tense simple present tense is used to show habitual actions and general truth in this class we are going to learn about present continuous tense i am writing i am writing she is reading we are playing look at these three sentences i am writing she is reading and we are playing in these three sentences it talks about the action which is going on at the time of speaking i am writing i am writing now so present continuous tense is used to show action which is going on at the time of speaking means at present action can you say some other examples she is walking she is swimming he is playing they are watching television these all sentences show actions which are going on at the time of speaking cut these sentences i am writing she is reading they we are playing in these three sentences i when the subject is i we use a plus verb plus ing when the subject is she he it we use is plus verb plus ing when the subject is we you they we use on plus verb plus ing in the all three cases we use ing form of the verb so present continuous tense whenever there is continuous we use ing form of the verb in past continuous in future continuous also we use ing form of the verb whenever there is continuous we use ing form of the verb here when the subject changes b form of the verb also changes when the subject is i a plus verb plus ing when the subject is we you they r plus verb plus ing they are teaching they are listening you are sleeping when the subject is he or she or it we use is plus verb plus ing she is dancing she is playing she is riding he is jumping it is sleeping we use is plus verb plus ing the rule for using present continuous tense is subject plus am or is or are plus verb plus ing we use am or is or are according to the subject when the subject is i we use am we you they 
We use R. He, she, it. We use is. Have you understood? So what is the role for using present continuous tense? Present continuous tense is used to show action which is going on at the time of speaking. At present action, she is writing a letter. Now she is writing a letter. So, when the subject is I, R plus verb plus ing. When the subject is we, you, they, R plus verb plus ing. When the subject is he or she or it, we use is plus verb plus ing. Now let's see some examples. Look, a small cute girl. What is she doing? She is writing. She is writing on the board. Look, she is drawing. What is she doing now? She is drawing. Shapes. Shapes. What is she shapes doing now? Everywhere. She is singing a song. She is singing. Shapes. Shapes. Shapes are everywhere. Triangles and She is singing a beautiful song. Look at her. She is reading. She is reading her textbook. For my need. I grew what is she doing? Now she now is reading her textbook. I have branches so many for children to play in company. My field works with tiny She is kids. reading English. Now she is reading. Kids. They are writing. What are they doing? They are right. We have seen one use of present continuous tense. It is also used in two other ways. Which are they? To show temporary actions. First it is used to show actions which are going on at the time of speaking. Second it is used to show Temporary actions. He is playing guitar nowadays. It's not his. In this sentence, he is playing guitar nowadays. It is not his habit. It doesn't talk about his habit. Nowadays only he is playing guitar. So, it is used to show temporary actions also. I am learning music. It is a temporary action. In this sentence, in the case of this sentence, now at the time of speaking, I am not learning music, but nowadays I am learning music. Have you understood? So, present continuous tense is used to show temporary actions also. Learning, um, plus learning, learn, plus ing, learning. And we have seen the second use. We have to see the third one. Which is the third one? Can you guess? It is used to show actions which are going to happen at the nearest future. It is used to show the actions which will happen, which is going to happen in the nearest future. I am going to Delhi next week. I am going to Mumbai tomorrow. In this sentence, I am going to Mumbai next week. Am I going now? No, I am not going now. It is not the action which is going on at the time of speaking. It talks about the action which is going to happen in the nearest future. So, present continuous tense is also used to show actions which are going to complete or is going to take place at the nearest future. Have you understood the three main uses of present continuous tense? Continuous tense is used to show actions which is going on at the time of speaking. Second, it is used to show temporary actions. And the third and the last, it is used to show actions which is going to happen in the nearest future. Now, look at these sentences. Write the following sentences in present continuous tense. First sentence. They... Dash work in that farm. 
What is the answer? The answer is already written. They are working in that farm. They are working in that farm. Where are they working? They are working in that farm. They are working in that farm. Second question. Can you see the answer? He dash draw. Draw. Draw is the verb here. Pictures nowadays. Which is the form of the verb? He is drawing pictures nowadays. Is drawing. He is drawing pictures. Now it is. She dash. Which is the verb here. Go is the verb here. To market this evening. Which is the answer? She is going to the market this evening. We yes. Is for he, she and it. Next question. My parents dash sleeping now. Which is the answer? Is or are or am. My parents. My parents are sleeping now. Are sleeping. My parents. There are more than one person. If it is my parents, it is only one person. So, we use is. But now, there are more than one person. So, there are more than one person. So, we use are. My parents are sleeping now. Next question. I dash learn music at present. I and learning. I am learning. I am learning music at present. Have you understood? For I we use am and the form of the verb is verb plus ing. Next question. It does play outside. Which is the answer? When it is it we use is plus verb plus ing. It is playing. Is playing. Have you got the answers? I'll read once again for you. They are working in that farm. They are working in that farm. He is drawing pictures nowadays. She is going to market this evening. My parents are sleeping now. I am learning music at present. It is play outside. Have you understood what is present continuous tense? Okay. So, in this class we have learned about present continuous tense. Have you understood the class? Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.